Uh, top online this morning, a really disturbing story out of Southern Ohio, where a Marietta man is accused of killing his adopted mother because he claimed that the Holy Spirit told him that she was the devil. And it's not just New York. Many of this country's biggest cities are going backwards in the same way. When you look at what is going on and how violence, like I said, is just there to welcome these, these young kids, I mean, what does that say about society today? The video of uh, the attack is making national headlines, and when you see it, you understand why. We do want to warn you, it's violent and disturbing to watch. Those who count these things say this is the 53rd school shooting in America this year. Tragically, it is almost certainly not the last. For those of you watching, you're just like me. We want to belong politically, socially, religiously, spiritually, to matter, to belong. So why is it that the culture today is when you can't belong or won't belong, violence is there to welcome you with open arms? Zach Stacy, the former New York Jets running back, is on the run, wanted in Orange County. Police say he attacked his ex-girlfriend, as you see right behind us, who was also the mother of his infant son. That attack happening right in front of the baby. I, I really, truly feel that if it continues, he will kill me. This violent encounter caught on Kristen Evans' home surveillance. She says the attack is coming at the hands of her ex-boyfriend, former NFLer Zach Stacy. You think that was over? You think that was over? Now I do not. Please, please, please. Tonight, the University of Central Florida is mourning the death of a former football star. Police say he was killed during a fight with his own father overnight. The police report says the dog bit Anderson Sr., then he got a gun and ultimately shot and killed his son. Overnight, the show went on at CNN. Some news now about this network it involves Chris Cuomo, the host of Cuomo Prime Time. Without Prime Time host Chris Cuomo, suspended indefinitely after new documents detailed Cuomo's involvement in advising his brother, former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, ensnared in a sexual harassment scandal. After Andrew Cuomo said he would resign as governor, Chris Cuomo addressed the issue for what he said would be the final time. I'm not an advisor. I'm a brother. I wasn't in control of anything. I was there to listen and offer my take. I never made calls to the press about my brother's situation. I never influenced or attempted to control CNN's coverage of my family. Giving us the whopping number of shootings are up 220%. So why? What's the problem? The city of Philadelphia, my hometown, just set a new all-time record for murders. The 513 murders in Philadelphia this year breaks the city's previous record of 500, which was set in 1990. Just days ago, a 14-year-old boy in the city was shot 18 times. This is happening all over the country. Louisville, Kentucky, Tucson, Arizona, and Columbus, Ohio have also set new murder records this year. Now in nine, our top story tonight, a Tucson police officer fired after shooting and killing a man in a wheelchair. Newly released video from Monday night shows that Ryan Remington confronted a suspected shoplifter before firing nine shots. The police chief says that Remington's actions were wrong. His use of deadly force in this incident is a clear violation of department policy and directly contradicts multiple aspects of our use of force and training sentencing of the father and his partner Emma Tustin of uh, Arthur Labinjo Hughes, the little boy who was murdered. Now Emma Tustin, his father's partner, who's just 32 years old, has been sentenced to 29 years, a minimum term of 29 years, in prison for the murder and cruelty of Arthur. A horrific crime sent shockwaves around the world. Six innocent people killed and 60 others injured when 39-year-old Daryl Brooks plowed through Waukesha's annual Christmas parade. On Wednesday, Brooks spoke out for the first time from his jail cell to Fox News Digital, telling two reporters he was being dehumanized and demonized. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, this man, 57-year-old William Broyles, is now in custody, charged with shooting and killing his own family. This is a story that we've been following all day out of Nassau County. And tonight we're learning that Boyles is the longtime music director at a Jacksonville church. 
Yes, it's an absolutely just a chilling, frankly, a disturbing allegation here. The sheriff said Broyles shot each one of those family members multiple times. But what investigators don't have a clue right now as to the motive of this man. This is something that was just uh, senseless and that, that neighborhood is a real quiet area. And uh, uh, and it's 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 strange that something like that would happen there him that she was the devil. 34-year-old Lionel Gore, pictured here, is charged with murder in the death of Diane Gore. A six-year-old boy told detectives that he witnessed his uncle on November 5th sawing his grandmother's neck with a knife. The Washington County Sheriff's Office said in those court documents, Gore set the house on fire. The boy eventually had to crawl out and escape the home. And with just under two months left in 2021, Indianapolis has broken its criminal homicide record for the second consecutive year. Cook County, which includes Chicago, just surpassed a thousand homicides for the first time since 1994. I've never seen a thousand homicides for the whole you know, 17 years I've been in this office. Cook County's chief medical examiner on the report released by her office with some very alarming statistics. 1,009 homicides to date, which is the highest in 27 years.